Okay. Just gonna talk to you about some shows, about some spinnerbaits and shit. Anyway. That's a spinnerbait. These things work fine as they are. But me being me, I gotta fuck with everything. So, we're gonna mess with this guy. I already have, if you haven't noticed. He's got a different skirt on there. Because the original skirt got torn to pieces by the fish. And they pull the strands out when they, when they smack it. And after a while you end up with nothing left. So, butchered a whole bunch of other spinner baits to build a new skirt. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these blades. And I'm going to swap the combination around. Um, get rid of that little fucker right there. It's a Colorado. And these things catch up in the weed a lot. But the areas where I fish, it's a, it's, it's a all really, really, really weedy. And to get through it, yeah, you need something that will cut through it like a willow. One of these. Look at that. This thing's been hammered. Hmm. The bass have been smacking the blades a lot too. I got a mate that just keeps losing them over and over and over again. It's so funny. Anyway, let's get to it. Set this guy, set this guy in. stick flies in there, open up this hole. Uh, strong wire. The impact is good stuff. Ooh. There we go. I'll open that up. I'm taking the blade off. Put the blade down there for now. You should take your stingers off while you're doing this. I'm a bit silly because all the time you'll end up sticking yourself. I'm going to try and bend this wire open so it's completely straight again. Otherwise, you won't be able to get off. Sorry, these little tubes? Yeah, might be able to get that off. It's a good idea to go, go pretty slow when you do this too. Because you could actually snap your wire if you bend too fast. It creates too much heat, fractures your metal. Just to be able to get this straight now. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, it's still bent, but we can get that off. Don't lose these bits. You want to keep every single bit you got. There's that clevis. Slide him off. Get rid of that. Hang on to them, but because you can put them on other lures, make you know completely different combinations. Like if you wanted something that goes really, really super slow, put two of them suckers on, or even bigger ones would be better. Could work on the day. But at the moment, I'm doing what the fish like. I've got to find this little clovis, not clovis, bloody thingamajiggy that I'm looking for, the willow. 
Shit everywhere. It's five minutes of shit so far. If you're still watching, I applaud you. No, it's not drugs. I know some of you out there were going, oh, I wish it was. Oh. Brand new Willow Blade. Size. Ooh. Nearly dropped me. Dropped me balls. Yep. Size three and a half. Gold, Willow Blade. Oh, you're kidding. See, I was just talking about it and now I've dropped me bloody things. I'll be back till I find my shit. My well, bugger, you can wait. There he is. Lucky. Speed first. Speed fell off. Speed first. Clovis, Willow, make sure he's on the right way. Okay. Another ball. Bead, whatever you want to call it. Dunno no. Tube. Tube's on. Last bead. Yeah. Now you're ready. To bend him back up again. Anyone can do this. If you've got um ones with the eye that's been welded with solder, if you've got like a little gas torch or something like that, you can burn them off. Like, I'll show you one that's welded. There you go. Little booyah. Smell that. I'll probably swap this one out pretty soon because, yeah, I don't like him. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. That little bit there. It's heat. Move all your shit down, obviously. So you don't melt it. Take your swivel off. Melt the crap out of that. And then dig it away with a knife or something like that, and you'll be able to open him. Back to this one. Right. Slowly. It was so slowly. Woo! <laughs> slowly. Hey. You want to bend down too, but in that direction rather than going up. So the blade will sit in a natural position. I'm just talking shit now. Yeah. 
How tricky suckers have been. Like I said before, it's good wire. Beef cake. Yeah. Nearly there. Don't know whether these dodgy plies you end up with a little bit kinky like. You can round it off by squeezing him and shit, but I want to get that blade back on. There we go. Put him on, now it's time to close him up. Hey, the other ID. Try and just so you can see it. Doing a shocking job for this. It's gone for 10 minutes of the game. Sorry guys. I'll get there. Okay. That's closed him up nicely. Oh yeah. Ready to go smack some weed. And pull out some big stinking bass. Yeah, boy. Catch shitloads, guys. Good luck.